Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. Oh yeah, what you just saw was the new weapon that came with the update that just was really we're talking about the monarch now the monarch comes with the red text the deadly stings of the monarch which is actually a reference to the venture brothers which is a running a cartoon episode that runs on adult swim check it out now this weapon comes with a lot of damage two 1,386 times 4 on this version, 67% on the accuracy, 65% handling, reload speed 3.0, fire rate 10.91, which is really fast, and 40 in the magazine, pretty good on paper. Now let's load over the minor stats. This version, 33% extra weapon damage, 15% extra weapon fire rate, 60% extra melee damage, and it's anointed, OP anointed version. When action skill is active, weapon damage is increased by 200%. And if you think this looks familiar, because it does, it looks just like the Dictator, and it kind of looks like the Ogre too. Now, where can you get this? Well, you're going to be farming Killavolt, but it must be on Mayhem Mode 6 or up. In order to get here, head over to Promethea, and then head over to Electra City. Now, from here, you just need to make your way to Killavolt. What I normally do is I spawn in at this fast travel station, uh, go straight down, uh, hang a right, stick to the wall, go right by Moxie Bar, swing around, hit that checkpoint, then I drop down, now it's time to farm Killavolt. Now depending on your setup, this can be either an easy form or it's going to be a hard form. There is no in between when it comes to Killavolt. So depending on your setup, you can easily farm this guy or it's going to be extremely hard. I suggest you go get a transformer who makes this a whole a lot more easier and then all you need is basically get yourself a nice build you're pretty much good to go with farming killable. Now he does drop a ton of items as you can see one of these is the Marnar. Now the drop rate on this I'm not sure but it did take me roughly around 15 tries to get this bad boy to drop. So here it is once again, the Resolute, the Monarch. Now, what does this weapon do? And how does this weapon farm in the end game? Well, like I said previously, kind of functions just like the Ogre and or the Dictator. You got the bipedal mode, got the regular mode, and it's basically to help clear out mobs. And it can actually do some pretty good damage to bosses as well. So we're going to go into one of my favorite places to test out weapons, the Trials of the Instincts. And we're going to go in here on Mayhem O10 and we're going to see just how well this weapon performs. Now, all dependent on your modifiers, of course. Me, I got some pretty crazy ones on a Mayhem O10 where they have that little invulnerability drone, but as you can see, Monarch is usually going to get you a second win if you do go down. Don't worry about it. This weapon performs quite, quite well in a Mayhem Mode 10. Now, the rifle version of this weapon does some pretty good damage if you want to focus in on single targets. But it seems to me that the bipedal mode is just, it just melts a little bit better, especially when you're clearing out mobs. Now, it does not matter if you flip to the fade away or not, the damage will still roughly be good in Mayhem Mode 10, so you don't have to worry if you're on another Vault Hunter, as long as you get this weapon, you're going to be doing some work in Mayhem Mode 10, and don't even worry about the other Mayhem Modes, if it's melting on Mayhem Mode 10, it's an absolute beast in any other mode, so definitely take a little bit of time out your day, head on over there to kill a vault, farm up this guy, and hopefully, a little bar in Jesus, you can get this lovely weapon to drop. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you the drop location and the mayhem mode, and all you have to do is get out there and farm. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you really want to help out this channel and the video and help this community grow, you can do so by liking the video. If you indeed like the video, leaving a comment down below. I answer all of your questions, so if you have any of them, hit me up, and I'll get you back as soon as possible. Hope you and your family's having a wonderful day, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.